hello guys good morning so uh, today i came here to show you that what kind of uh, live projects we can do on uh, by using the automation testing frameworks like uh, we are we have to uh, understand what kind of things we have uh, we have to perform on the testing frameworks and uh, for that i have came across with one uh, website that is the swag labs which ha which is one kind of a shopping uh, website which will uh, show you that number of things or the like uh, means one kind of it is a demo project demo website so i will show that project first so come to the okay now just search that swag labs the source demo is there <laughs> click this and this is the login page of that page uh, website yeah here are the number of uh, usernames and password is given by the uh, project so just copy this paste and then copy this and paste it okay then clicking on the uh, login button you will come across the number of pages a uh, number of elements are there on the page the, this kind of alert purpose will come okay so you can see number of things are there like number uh, this source lab back backpacks are there means these are the products that they are showing then the menu section is here then cart section is here then one drop down menu is here then header is there footer is there now so these are the every uh, elements we have we will come across to check it and further we will go for testing in this form only then in this project we will use the uh, maven as a dependent uh, maven as a build management for that and we will use the design pattern of uh, our page object model and also we will use the test ng as a testing tool where we will use the number of annotations to perform the testing task on that and also we will uh, use the framework of uh, data driven one so data driven framework we will use and then uh, for reporting purpose we will use the uh, extent reporting and then uh, we will use the uh, github uh, for the uh, ci uh, for just we, are, we will use the github and also we will go for the jenkins also i will show all the uh, ci cd uh, also in that so these are the all uh, 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 pro project we will go for it these are the part of the project so before starting uh, we have to go for the uh, first on the eclipse now uh, before starting you have to make sure that uh, test ng uh, library uh, before uh, uh, the adding the uh, test ng library you have to mention that it is installed in your project or not in your eclipse so come uh, come on the eclipse click on the help and click this eclipse uh, marketplace uh, after the uh, loading has been completed just come here select and then uh, search for the test ng so for here first uh, the, this kind of thing will come and see I already installed it so you will see like uh, you will uh, go comes to know that install button will come here and then just install it and finish that project part okay so I have assured that my test ng has been installed in my pro library. Now I have to create one new project, Maven project. So come here, create, click on this button and select the Maven project and next. Now select this checkbox, this uh, create a simple project only and then next. We have to make sure the uh, give the a uh, group ID and artifact ID. So we will just give the name my uh, first project. This will be our name, group name, and artifact name will be all the same thing. Copy and then paste it here. Okay, and then finish it. So here you can see that uh, my first project. It has been created a number of uh, folders and uh, files are already added here so first uh, first step will be there to add the dependencies in your project and where we will add you have to use this pom.xml file to adding the dependencies so open that file and I will just 
increase the font size okay now come here you have to make sure that you have to create the dependency group also so dependencies you will see this first option is there click on it then enter here now how you will add the dependencies here so we have to use the google and search for maven repo repo is the shortcut of the short name of that now go for this maven repository come here select this and search for selenium so first option will be appear here that is selenium java click it and go for the mostly used one but we will go for the simple last latest one said 4.8.3 only click it come here just click here everything will be selected just copy come to the eclipse and paste here you can delete this first line just go from here okay so first dependency is added now go for next one so next dependency will be test engine library so come uh, come to the maven repo and search for the test ng also then first option will be there test ng click here once again we will use the latest one 7.7.1 .7 then click here select is selected copy and then paste it here also you can delete this first line here also now after that one more dependency we will add that is the web driver manager i will show you further how we can use this dependency so first of all web driver manager click here so first this io.github.boni garcia will become here just click it and go for the first one 32 we used this 5.3.2 and click here selected copy and then paste it uh, same thing you can delete the first line also okay done now after adding the dependencies you have to come on your project name right click go further uh, search for the maven click here and then update the project <coughs> make sure uh, whenever you add the dependencies the next step will be there to update your project maven project then coming here make sure that this checkbox is creates a check in front of your project now click on ok see update will be started now save it so here the dependencies has been added you can see number of dependencies already added here like uh, what we we have added is maven uh, web driver manager is added then test ng library is also added and selenium chrome driver then edge driver then firefox is there then safari is there so some this all the dependencies is added in our project so this is the first step and the most crucial step also before going further this will be added okay so one one more thing is that that there will be more dependencies we will add in the further stages as as we will go uh, uh, gradually uh, go for the next steps and then adding some of the uh, more uh, packages also so in our project till now we have added this many things further we will see that how we will create the base class then uh, one more thing is that utility class then we will we are following the page object model so there we will add the uh, page classes also then we will keep the test class separate so we have to create the test class also and then uh, some of the config files which will contain the uh, utility uh, some of the property uh, properties like url then username then browser names then uh, passwords these are the uh, properties we will include it then also uh, we will use the extend reporting for to, uh, creating the reports generating the reports on that so that uh, we can show that how what what kind of uh, testing has been done how many testing is passed scrape and uh, failed 
then also we will go for next step is that uh, adding some of the folders that uh, test data folder is there failed test, case, test cases uh, screenshot folder then uh, browser files are there so this this will be come for in the for the next video okay so till now this list you have to add this all things and then save it so we will uh, see in the next next few thank you